Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today's video is going to be my August favorites. I am super surprised by how quickly this month went by, but regardless of that, I have definitely been gravitating towards a certain amount of product, uh, mostly beauty, but I have a couple skincare, hair care bits to mix in as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I haven't been able to put down for the past 30 days, then keep on watching. So my first beauty favorite is the controversial subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know that some of you guys love this palette. I know some of you guys hate this palette. And I know some of you guys love to hate this palette. Uh, it's a really beautiful color range. I think that if you know how to work with shades that are really pigmented and really buttery and prone to having a lot of kickback and fallout, then then you don't really care, then you just love the color payoff of this, you love the shade range, I mean, I absolutely love how perfect this is going into fall, I love the mustard, and give it a try because you really don't know until you get your hands into something yourself, dip your brush in and have your own experience. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. My next favorite is another palette. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette beautiful, beautiful packaging. I don't know why it took me so long to pick this palette up. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. There are all colors in here that are suspended in like a silvery, a whitish silvery base, but they all have um, a reflect to them. So there's the green, which is emerald, the purple, which is amethyst, blue, which is sapphire, and then the pink, which is opal. I have this on my eyes today. I'm gonna come in super close. So you guys can see I have the amethyst on my inner corner and sort of blended into my brow highlight. I absolutely love the way that this looks. It really grounds and ties a look together, so you don't have that really stark, bright white or gold highlight, or bronze even. You have like this colored highlight, which really complements a lot of looks. So for those reasons, I think this palette is really versatile. It's a beautiful piece to keep in your kit. You can transform really any eyeshadow. You could even put one of these shadows on top of a black cream base. So like if you were to use a gel liner and map out your smoky eye, you could just pop one of these on top and it instantly transforms it into this shimmering, highlighted, whatever color you end up choosing kind of a look. Like you could do like a really intense, like periwinkle black smoky eye and it would look absolutely gorgeous. The next two products I have are from the same line and I don't know what took me so long in picking these up. They are the Danessa Myricks Color Fix 24 Hour Matte Colors. Um, they're absolutely stunning. So I have the shade Freedom, which is this absolutely neon vibrant pink. And then I have the shade Rustic, which is more of a warm reddish brown. These pigments I mean, they're basically liquid pigment. I think that these are amazing for a makeup artist kit. Um, I only have these two, but I'm obviously going to go pick up more. I want the whole primary color set at least. Um, they're beautiful because you can use them on the eyes. They don't irritate my eyes at all. They're meant just for the face in general. You can use them to add details to the lips. You can do, you know, more artistry work versus, you know, just doing like a pink winged liner, but you can do that with this. When I use these, I find that they work best with being set down with a powder. You guys might find that if your eyelids don't crease easily, that you might just need to just wait for them to dry and then they set perfectly. For me personally, setting them with a shadow just makes them appear more vibrant and makes them last a lot longer. But I even put a little bit of freedom in my waterline in a look recently that I did. I'll insert the look right here, this look right here. Um, and it didn't ir irritate my eyes at all. It didn't stain my lids. I absolutely love these. And I think that even if you're not a professional makeup artist, picking these up is a lot of fun and you can create a lot of artistic looks because these paint mediums allow you to do so. A product that probably isn't too surprising is the Dose of Colors collab with Desi Perkins and Katie of Luster Lux. This is their highlighter in the color Fuego. Let me flip this around. It's a stunning, bronzy, shimmering, 
gold color. Um, I have just applied this in my latest video, will have gone out right before this one, it should be the one prior to this, where I'm trying out new products. This definitely appears more bronze on my skin because I'm such a pale baby, but if you apply bronzer, if you make this work, I think anyone can wear it. I genuinely believe that. And even someone like myself that really layers and layers and layers, you can still create a look that doesn't have that harsh uh, stopping point where you can see if your highlighter is too dark on pale skin. It just looks absolutely beautiful. There's no ashiness to it either, so I think that anyone from my skin tone to someone darker would absolutely be able to rock this. The last makeup item that I have and the other Dose of Colors item I have is the liquid lipstick in the color Chocolate Wasted. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's that classic like hot chocolate brown, but it has enough red in it to make it really flattering. Um, I did wear that in my last video as well, so I'm just going to leave like a little info like link up here for it. It's a gorgeous color. It's super flattering. I think this, like the highlight, this color will look beautiful on the palest of pale to the darkest of dark. I genuinely believe that this lipstick is universal. It'll give you a completely different look. On me, it's, it's a very dark, bold, vampy color, but on someone darker, it might be, you know, a beautiful nude or something in a mid-tone range. So I definitely recommend trying this out, especially if, like me, you love the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula. A skincare product that I have been leaning on this month a little bit more heavily has been the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Um, this mask mask is honestly, it, it's one that took a while for me to really appreciate what it does. It's a cream mask that does dry down, but it has really fine oily granules in it. I'm not actually sure what the granules are. Jojoba beads, that's what they are. So this has um, lots of little jojoba beads in it that help exfoliate, but they release oil as well. Which for someone like me, I suffer from dermatitis, which basically, if you don't know, means little bumps all under my skin, like reddish. Um, some of them can turn into acne if I scratch at it. Um, I do have eczema as well, not on my face usually, but this is a great product because it, while it exfoliates and gets that dead skin away, it also nourishes and offers the oil that my skin desperately needs because I have drier skin. The next product I have is significantly less glam than any of the others, but it is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion in the Unscented Original uh, Formula. It's a nice big container. I recently have been tattooed and I, while I always have Aquaphor around, I am always looking for a lotion to use after the Aquaphor period ends where I am feeling like I'm giving the best moisture I can to the tattoo without compromising the health of it. So I don't want fragrances, I don't want dyes, I don't want any bullshit. I want to know that my skin is being treated like a wound, you know? Like if you were to go and have surgery, you would feel comfortable using this lotion on it. That's how I treat it and it's done wonders, it's healed beautifully and the smell of this is actually kind of reminds me it smells like a baby, but um, that doesn't really bother me because I have a pure utilitarian reason for wanting it, and it's a nice big bottle, so I know that this will last me a while for any and all future tattoos. And my last favorite for the month has been the Badger Argan Jojoba and Baobab Botanical Hair Oil for Dry and Damaged Hair. This is a daily leave-in concentrate. I have been really enjoying this. My hair is definitely dry and damaged on the bottom. I am trying to grow it out after I chopped it all off in January, so having a product like this around is very helpful. It keeps my ends nice and soft. I tend to condition my hair more than I even wash it, so my hair isn't in bad shape per se, but having this oil around and just adding a little bit to it, even a little bit extra at night before I go to sleep and then twirling my hair into a bun makes such a big difference. It adds that moisture that my hair drinks up and really loves and needs, especially as it will get cooler. I definitely am going to be 
relying more on moisturizing hair products and hair oils in general. So those were my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know one of your favorite things that you've been using this month. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And don't forget to check out my social media links down below because that's where you will find all the fun things like the makeup I have on today. You will find that in the down bar and all of my other makeup endeavors. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Bye!